Hello and welcome to the Sky City YouTube channel. My name is Becky. This is Cedric Sky City. And we decided to make a new video to talk about this conference that we recently were invited to be panelists at uh, to address anti blackness and racism here in Korea through the art world. And so, this was a very intimate conference where we had an audience of, I would say, approximately 50 people. This would include, well, I guess a little bit more than 50, right? Having the people online and offline. Right. Yeah, so they kept it very small for the offline group and then we had people tuning in via Zoom. And uh, yes, we were invited to be panelists to talk, have this discussion. Uh, our audience primarily were artists, teachers, people who are interested in the culture and the arts, and fully Korean audience, Korean Korean here in Korea. So it was a very interesting setting to be talking about us talking about mixed mm. race, how do we address racism and biases through our own work and speaking to an audience that's a little bit different than who we usually do, right? Because most of our viewers here are outside of Korea, right? Right. So it was a very good experience, I think, for us and we were really honored to be panelists there. It was hosted by uh, a workshop, Taehyun Studio, Taehyun Workshop, and Taehyun is a Korean-born artist activist and educator who works in New York City and in Seoul and he hosts exhibitions and so he was working together with the Seoul Arts and Cultural Foundation here in Seoul and it was very cool to see those two forces combine together and create a space where people could ask a lot of difficult questions yeah, and questions that they have maybe faced in their own classrooms and in their own lives and so we were part of that and we wanted to share it with you guys what that was like and why we thought it was meaningful. Yeah, so overall I thought it was um, one, really cool that they reached out to us. Mm -hmm. Now, they had other panelists over a period of I think two other days. Three days total. Yeah, and so, um, so they had different voices represented, but from my understanding with most of the conference, they were actually tackling the race and culture issue like harder mm -hmm. than I thought that they would. Yeah, you know, right? they they were, um, I think Taeyun, the host, after we presented, uh, he was presenting issues on Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he was going back to like the Central Park Five, if you guys yeah. know what that is and you know what it is. Um, so he was addressing that to a Korean audience. And so that showed me just how serious they were mm -hmm. in terms of educating, <laughs> Let me be careful with that word. In terms of sharing uh, these experiences, yeah. uh, especially from the United States mm -hmm. to the Korean audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was very impressed with it. It was really cool because they reached out to Becky actually. From the Happy Project. From the Happy Project channel, but I think they were already familiar with my work as well, or maybe yeah. through the Happy Project, not sure. But it was really cool because uh, here we are, two half Koreans able to share this perspective. So we just wanted to share a little bit of insight and maybe some encouragement mm. for you guys uh, in terms of what's going on here and the conversations that are being had. Now, real yeah. quick, the, the setup again was in person and also online because, I mean, COVID era, so. Uh, we had to limit how many people were in the place, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was me and Becky, and then we had a translator in which most of the presentation, uh, we had about 45 minutes, was it? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Uh, most of the presentation, or actually hour and a half, uh, most of the presentation was done in English because we're more comfortable in, especially these type of yeah. topics, you know, speaking in English. So uh, we had that, and then we had Taeyun, uh, pretty much hosting he was kind of moderating yeah moderating yeah so yeah and so we had the floor we just talked uh, a little bit about who we were our experiences and just how we feel like race is viewed here in Korea mm -hmm. now we took a very uh, personal approach personal approach right? not an educational approach. no no not at all and um, it seemed to really resonate with the people there. But yeah, we opened the floor for a Q&A and then the questions that we got from the audience there and also our Zoom audience was really good. It showed me just how eager everyone who was there was uh, in terms of learning about, I guess, culture and these race issues. And they came from a very respectful place and mm -hmm. some of the questions were extremely honest, you know? Mm -hmm. and. It could be taken offensively, but it's it, do, it doesn't come from a place of wanting yeah. to attack or like, um, you know, coming from a place of just 
trying to you know push our buttons but mm -hmm. yeah they asked really good questions and we were able to answer them so i guess we could like talk a little bit about uh some of the questions and topics that came up i think it's important to highlight this because what we were seeing was on the ground real life korean local people educators who are in positions of society to teach the next generations yeah having this open mind and a willingness to have these kind of discussions and what i find when we look at social media and when we look at the political like political atmosphere um, and especially when we look at some recent events that have happened in korea the general feeling that I find the outside world might have about Korea is while Korea is just racist as always, right. you know, Korea is always going to be single minded in their biases. And having these people at the conference and us being a part of that and having this give and take discussion was so inspiring and very, very encouraging. So I thought it would be important for us to just break through all of that noise and to tell you guys personally, like, People here in Korea do care and people here in Korea are open and this is all the step by step by step forward that can lead to bigger change. So it was a very encouraging time that we had. So we talked about um, personally our relationship, mm -hmm. right? I think the reason being is because when you're talking about race or you're talking about big systemic changes, it can feel extremely uh, burdensome. Kind of oh, like, yeah. I'm one person, how can I... How can I change anything? And especially when it feels out of your hands and especially when it feels like maybe it's not related to you. Korea versus issues in the US coming over here. It can feel that way to some people in Korea. So why should I care about it? So I wanted to make it very small. Hey, let's, let's focus on this micro then. How this one person, one person's relationship work because mm -hmm. these are things you can do as an individual right. to help lead to change so that was i guess the way my angle when i came into it so we talked about our relationship yeah and and the biggest thing is we just stress that we obviously trust each other enough to be able to have open dialogue and that was the key to be able to talk to each other and bring up issues and maybe even questions about things that we don't understand mm -hmm. about each other or the i guess the cultures that we represent obviously we're korean but we're also you know representative of other cultures um and so we're able to do that without being offended we're able to do mm -hmm. that understanding that we're both just trying to learn yeah and so we were just using that as an example. Yes, it's an ideal situation because we're dating. Yes. But, you know, taking the principle of that and just understanding that if you try to get to know the other person or if you even try to take it a step further, mm. be in a relationship with them, whether it be a friendship or anything like that, um, that can be a good starting place to hopefully not have the walls up and you're able to actually discuss these issues and really just learn because what you're going to find is everyone has a certain level of ignorance. There's another word that I want to be careful of. But uh, what I mean by that is things that you may not know, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason, whether you haven't been exposed to it or you're not, you know, you, you're not well versed in it. Everyone has that. But if you're able to talk with each other, you'll find that those ignorances will eventually dissipate because mm -hmm. you're able to begin to understand uh, maybe not experientially, but you'll begin to understand at least mentally or logically. Or empathize. Oh yeah, empathize. Yeah, with the other person and their experiences. So I think that was that was a good point that uh, was brought up. And another thing is, um, you know, many of you guys have probably seen the blackface video that we. Uh, this was something that we, we made. made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we we did bring up this uh, uh, this video. Because I think most of them actually they saw the video, seen it. right, in preparation for the conference, because they knew we were coming to speak, and um, you know that was a that was another thing. Because I'll be honest, after we released the video, we felt like we did the very best we could to articulate the situation from the most neutral, not maybe not possible, but from the most neutral uh, standpoint that we could. Uh, to address the issue and primarily to a an audience that is not in Korea. Yeah. And 
what we found is we had so much backlash, especially from、um, Koreans. Yeah, I think that's a really good point because so. With that video, when we posted it, of course, we were trying to be very, very fair and also try to explain what looked like an unreasonable reaction from the outside point of view, what looked like an unreasonable reaction from Korean netizens or from just Koreans in general. And so we were trying to express why this、mm. you know, extreme reaction happened. And、um, of course, the video went out and there was so much. Hate the most hate that we have ever experienced online,、yeah. especially from Korean netizens, which was to me a bit bizarre. When in a way, I was like, hang on a second, guys, I was kind of defending you here, right? Or at least trying to explain your side. Yeah, most of them didn't really watch or maybe、yeah. un- catch all the nuances of the video. I don't think people really、yeah. watched it. Because they, they were leaving comments like, oh, well, this is why we're mad, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's, that's exactly what we, what we said in the、yeah. video. But, anyways. People were out to just for blood, basically. And we were there. And、uh, so when we were talking through the conference, and I could see Taeyun like looking at me, and I was like, oh <laughs>、right. shoot, I gotta bring it up, you know, because <laughs> I knew he wanted to talk about it. And most、yeah. of the people in the room were educators or teachers of some sort. And、uh, so I imagine that they probably had students in the classroom asking them about this now.、Right. And so I was like, okay, you know, I don't know if it's okay to bring it up, but he's like, yes, you can bring it up.、So、okay, all right. <laughs> all right, you didn't know what I was gonna bring up, but I'll bring it up. And so, you know, very tentatively talked about that video in the Samuel Chidi incident. And、um, yeah, I was quite impressed, I think. And in a way, I, I felt a sense of relief,、mm. right? Because I, I hate to go around with also myself an unspoken bias that. Well, I guess the general Korean population、right. really does hate black people. Like,、right. if this was something I didn't, didn't want to carry inside me.、Mm-hmm. But after seeing the reaction to the blackface incident in our video, I think in a way it kind of rooted a little bit. Like,、mm-hmm. Gosh, it seems no matter what we say, there's going to be no change. And it was very disheartening. But doing this conference and having teachers raise their hand and being like, so then how would you address this with your students? And not in a You know, judging manner, like,、mm-hmm. well, what would you have done better? But it was more like, how can, what can we do to facilitate discussion? And that was so,、uh, it, it took a bit of kind of sadness off my chest,、mm. I think. And if there are more people who, who want to have the discussion like that, then it's inevitable that good change can happen. So、right. it was really cool to see that in this conference. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess what I want. Everyone out there watching this video and listening to take away、mm. from this,、uh, at least our experience with this whole conference, is the fact that there is a, uh, there is a progression, right?、Mm. Uh, there is a moving forward in some of these hard issues. And I know that the rate at which it's moving forward may not satisfy a lot of people,、mm. uh, understandably, you know. People will say it's 2020, you know,、yeah. by now, you know, this shouldn't even be an issue. I totally understand that and I get it.、Um, but I'm here to personally encourage everyone that、uh, I think things are moving forward. And I think that as long as we, not just us, but we, as in whoever is part of the discussion, is able to handle it with、mm. grace and respect, you're gonna get people that will listen, people that will ask questions. And who knows, maybe you'll even have a platform in which you'll be able to address these issues on a larger scale, which,、yeah. is, which is cool because we have YouTube to be able to do that. And we also, you know, we were invited to a conference like this sort of out of the blue. It's so mind blowing. Yeah.、Honestly. Yeah. And so, and our aim is, is to really just bring,、uh, well, one of our aims, I should say, is to bring. More unity, you know, between the cultures. That's why we like talking about cultures. We like sharing Korean culture because that's what we know. We also like to talk about, you know, the other side of us as well and just bring a unity and a harmony.、Uh, so, my, you know, my encouragement and what I'm encouraged by is the fact that the conversation is happening. And yeah, it might be in a room of 50 people,、mm. you know, but the room of 50 people. These are influencers.、Mm. And I'm not talking about like digital influencers or Instagrammers, right? These are like actual teachers、mm. who will go back into the classrooms, maybe with a different perspective or maybe with a little bit more insight. And 
that's how I think change will happen in the long term. It's mm -hmm. an investment now that will compound and grow. Uh, so I'm encouraged and I'm hoping to, you know, continue to to be part of these discussions. Now, I do want to mention that, uh, yes, Korea has issues with race, as do all countries. Mm. Um, you know, some countries deal with it far more than others. And, uh, you know, Korea is no exception. The United States, obviously, my own country, uh, is definitely not an exception to that. Uh, so uh, I just want to throw that out there. This is not about, oh, Korea is a racist country and, you know, we're here to sort Spearhead of- Spearhead the movement. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing <laughs> like that. Uh, it's just, it's just we're all talking about mm. issues that we feel like needs to be talked about. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek snippet into what's actually happening on the grounds here in Korea concerning these kind of issues. And we'd like to know what you think about it. If you were encouraged by this, if there's some Thing you're hoping to see or changes that you're hoping could be facilitated leave it in the comments below because we read everything and we know every single opinion that's coming in mm -hmm. it does have a place and so thanks so much for watching you guys also thanks to our patreons for always being there for us and if you're interested in helping us out that way financially you can check out our patreon link below follow us on social media and you can keep up with our daily happenings there and so stay tuned for a next video coming to you soon Thanks for watching, and remember to always seize the day. Peace. Peace.